morning. Oh, it's not morning. It's like good night is what what it is. It's ten ten twenty at night. So me and my coach driver here for orientation for the new company or whatever. Still, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I got more than merch. I'm aware where I go, so whatever company don't like it, whatever. But I'm here for the part two. I'm over here talking like talking about oh, what's gonna be two weeks from now. No, it ain't. I got it's some I guess I don't figured it out. But I also I had to I had to write write it down. Two pages. Two pages, y'all. Two whole pages. Cause the last time in the last video I'm looking, I was like, I wasn't really detailed enough when I was talking about at least when I started talking about Swift. I just started talking because I be when I be recording, my mind be everywhere because I be trying to get everything, you know, in one setting. I be having so much to say, so my mind be everywhere. So I'm gonna order, like I said. <laughs> so um, I don't know how long. Hopefully, I can finish this video tomorrow after I get out of class. Um, but let's get into it. So last I spoke to you, I was talking about Swift. I actually I was talking about how I got my license and all that other stuff. Basically, how I got Swift. How I found Swift was, like I said in the last video, I was getting my CDL when I was talking about, um, just to refresh your mind. <laughs> um, I was talking about like studying for it because it's a bunch of different apps, it's a bunch of different shit. And Swift gave me the study material that I needed for free. And, um there's there what was on the test was pretty much identical like word for word was you know yeah i can't get it out <sighs> yeah so basically i had got my cdo in august and then my co-driver got his two weeks after me so um september we both got ours about in august so in september i started the um class september 1st or 2nd nope one first it was like the second and third whatever that first week in september basically okay yeah i think I, I don't remember basically it was in the beginning of september so the first week you get there i ain't gonna lie they put us in the hilton so far i ain't gonna lie i was over here talking shit about soon because they be pissing me off they they put me and they put us in a nice hotel i ain't even gonna lie to you we ain't have to share rooms well I share, I should, I chose to share with, you know, my coach driver and everything because we were together. So, um, yeah, week one was classroom, you know, classroom, drug tests, paperwork, e-learners, basically is a whole week. By the end of the week on Friday, um, by the end of the week on Friday, they gave us the packet for pre-trip. And then by week two came, he, the instructor on the range, so it was like the building, it was like, the, cause the school and the building is separate from each other, but they like right next to each other, if that makes sense. So it was like the, it was like the school and then it was like the little range, there. it was like a little square parking lot. And then the second range, it was like past, it's like the trust got their own space to park and then in the back of that, like where they so put their old equipment at is where the second range was. So week two was, the pre-trip, he actually opened the hood, obviously walked around the trailer, pointing everything out. He did it like real slow with us. And then he told us the end cap. That was like on like a Monday. So by Monday, Tuesday, he was helping us. Then by like the rest of the week, we kind of like branched off on our own, you know, so we could learn, our, or learn it on our own. So, yeah. And then, oh, I'm sorry. No, also within that one week, also with week two, we started learning the straight backs and offsets. And then week three, we learned was roll time and then learning how to do the parallel and then just practicing offset, straight back, offset, and parallel. And we also had the pre-trip to trust we got there every morning. Now, when you get to the second range, which is week three, which is week three and four, I think it's like, I think the course is like four or five weeks. I cannot remember. It ended up being, end up turning into six end up turning to like five or six if I'm not mistaken because the classes it go everybody test out like week five or six I cannot remember um I'm sorry no I gotta it was week five 
I was supposed to test out, but ended up turning in week six because of the classes ahead of us. If they, any, if the class ahead of you failed, they that pushes you to stuff back because they're trying to do it in order of who came first. So, yeah. But when you get to the second range, basically, you get evaluated. You get like three times the pass. So like, you practice your pre-trip and then they test you if you know your pre-trip, all that by heart. I ain't gonna lie, my whole class failed that shit. I think only one person passed it. If I'm not mistaken, one person passed it. Cause I, I was overthinking that shit. You be like on paper, it's a lot, but then you actually look at the shit, you be like, oh, like it's really, really simple. So you get that, you get a, um, a back end evaluation, and you do all three back ends with your straight back offset parallel. You gotta do all three. You get three times to do it after the third time. If you fail, if you fail each evaluation, I'm sorry, if you fail that particular one each time, like third time, whatever, they, they like, they take leave and then you come back in like 30 or 60 days or some shit like that. It's been so long, so I cannot remember. But yeah, and then you get a road evaluation, which obviously it was really simple. Like I think, who, I don't even remember it was so, it was like too much. Fuck. I'm gonna be a fucking with shit. <laughs> it was two instructors. It was two instructors on the second range. Two. It was two like road time instructors, and then it was um. It was two people that was supposed to be doing the DOT test out. Right. Only one did it because the other one was like the supervisor of all of them. Just sat around in his little golf cart. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I forgot who, which one of them. I ain't gonna lie, they was all, all instructors pretty much was cool. I ain't, I ain't had no problem there, even the people I was in class with. So if y'all seeing this, hey, <laughs> um, they was cool. So it was one annoying person, just one. So you know it was always that one. Damn, you know it was always that one that just do too damn much. And yeah, I'm gonna just leave it at that. If you know, you know, y'all know. <laughs> So, um, come week five or whatever, we, cause my seat, my dumb ass, I was, my COVID driver went first. <laughs> he passed, right? Come my time to go, right? Why? I did my pre-trip, no problem. I ain't gonna lie, I was going so fucking fast. I had to stop for a moment because I was going ahead of my, uh, ahead of my mind, if that makes sense. I just was talking, my mind went blank. So then my mind finally caught up to me. I stopped because <laughs> I said, hold on, I said, hold on, I got a brain fart, but I got everything. Come time for my back and right straight back, no problem. Here come a fucking offset, right? So basically when you're doing your offset, it's like, it's like, it's basically two boxes and like, let's just say, I'm gonna just draw this truck, y'all. Don't judge me for this damn truck, okay? <laughs> I cannot draw. So basically, it looked like <laughs> it looked like this. But an offset, you start on this side, and then you end up, you gotta end up parking over here, right? Y'all know what an offset is. I just, yeah. So basically, I'm sorry, this drawing is embarrassing. <laughs> So basically, um, on the trailer, the trailer had like a D, my training trailers all had DOT stickers on it. So that way, like, if it, if it was going into the right lane, I'm starting my left side, so it's going into the right lane. So when, as I'm backing up, before I start backing up, I gotta turn my wheel all the way, turn my wheels all the way left to make my trailer go right. So as I'm doing that, you gotta turn back, right? I was looking for the DOT sticker in my mirror on the trailer to know when to turn back, that way I don't end up jackknifing child why on the testing out this testing out equipment it wasn't there so immediately i fucked up i got in there i got in there i got to my side but it took me a lot longer because i lost my reference points on the trailer instead of like knowing like how can i say this it's kind of hard to explain if i'm not physically like i would have to do an offset like record me doing an offset to, to show y'all exactly what i'm talking about but just try to stay with me <sighs> <laughs> then come time for my parallel same thing same thing except it was opposite like I was on 
I was on, obviously I'm on this side now, so I gotta come to this side. I gotta come to that, this side now, cause I'm on that side. <laughs> so, um, um, same thing. I lost my reference point on the other side, so I just, I just was fucking up. But I got in there. I, um, it was no limit on. I think you get like two free get out looks and two pull ups or three full free pull ups. After that, they just started like knocking like one or two points off or whatever. But it didn't matter because yeah, I passed it. But I was like, so like I be at that time I was like such kind of like a perfectionist. I was like, I didn't. It didn't go how I wanted it to. If that makes sense, I was like pissed off. <laughs> so when it comes to my road test, I was like mad because I was like, oh my god, did I pass? Did I pass? Obviously, if I failed the back, I cannot move on to the road test. Stupid me all in my fucking head. I'm in the middle of the road test. I made a mistake on the road. I ain't hit nobody or nothing, but I did some dumb, some dumb mistake. And then I had to wait two days, two more days to to take my road test. But by the time, I think that was on like a Monday or Tuesday or some shit. It's like come Thursday or Friday, whatever day it was to take my test. I only had to just take the road part. And I aced it with no fucking problem. When I did it, my instructor just was like, no, what happened? I was like, ugh. So, come time for me to test out, right? The day of, in the morning, we got to, like, um sign in. I was like, he said, why you look something? I said, you know why I look something. He was like, you're just starting out. You never drove a truck before. So, don't, like, beat yourself up about it. But it's the principle of it. Because you know how you, you know, starting to try something new. You hold yourself to a high, like, a standard. And you don't meet your standard. That's what it was. And then Swift also had this program called Top Gun. I don't know if that's even still a thing anymore. Don't quote me on this. But Top Gun basically was like for the people that like kind of was top in the class. So Top Gun basically had like simulators and taught you the di different backing methods, which was obviously the 45 and the 90. And probably some more other shit that I don't know about. <laughs> but me and my co-driver both got to Top Gun, right? So we were hired after that. We were hired. Um, me and my co-driver was hired. Um, and it was like, okay, y'all could we went back home to America. Well, all the Baltimore. Went back home. So we was waiting for a call to do Top Gun or some shit like that. Cause we both we had like so basically after once you graduate from school and you get like if you do it with a company, you get like somebody called like a student driver manager or some shit like that. She'll call you and get a mentor, right? Because that's what that was the next step. It was gonna be supposed to be Top Gun. They was like either Top Gun or Mentor, whichever one comes first. But at that time, it was only it was Top Gun coming first. The people was waiting for their mentors because they don't they ain't have they ain't have them just be thrown away. You had to wait. So um, we get home like a week or two past. I was like, how come we ain't hear nothing? So I called them. They was like, I called the lady who was my driver manager. We gonna call her Sarah. Sarah ain't answer the phone. She ain't never fucking answer the phone. That's always a damn problem. So I called the lady. I called the school. I was like, hey, how come we haven't heard anything for Top Gun or whatever? And she was like, it was temporarily shut down. And they didn't know it was going to come back up for whatever reason. I said, okay. So my co driver gets one second or third week in October. I still, like, a mentor. He got a call for a mentor. Then I'm still waiting. So come, come, like, close to Halloween. That's when I got one. But she was, my mentor was all the way in. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. My mentor was all the way in um, fucking Utah. So they was like, you know, I'm going to take a flight, blah, 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 blah. Kid you not. Come the day before I texted my friend. I was like, bro. This, I said something don't feel right. Like, I really don't want to get on this plane. He was like, then don't do it. Don't you know this lady called me? It was like her daughter caught COVID. So she couldn't. She was like, you know, don't get on a plane yet. So that was on the weekend. So I'm sorry. I was supposed to be leaving on a Sunday. So I had to wait until Monday to call my people. So when they called me, it was like, did you get on the plane? I was like, no, because she said her daughter got COVID, da 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 They was like, okay, we're going to work for a, a work, a work, basically on a, a day from when she's supposed to be coming back. I said, can y'all just give me somebody that's closer to somebody else? I'll even take a mail. Like, I don't care. I'm just trying to get on the road at this point. Because he was going on his second week. I was trying to coordinate it to where we finish at the same time, we could, you know, get our truck, you know, all that other good stuff. And it just became this whole thing because I was like, I don't really, well, I don't really have time to wait because really I wasn't really working all last year and I didn't have time just be sitting, sitting in the house, not making no money. Mind you, I already waited September, all of September, had no money, broke as fuck because school. Say right now, but that trucking school shit, baby, save your fucking money beforehand. Like you need to save going into that shit because you will go broke. Food ain't cheap, and all you're doing is eating out. So. 
Yeah. So um, it turned into I ended up in the I ended up cursing him out. <laughs> it was like all right, whatever. And I called. I was looking for um. I just typed in on Google like truck companies hire hiring drivers with no experience and CRST happened to come up. And I used to for some reason, you know when like you getting in the summer doing shit, stuff just started coming up on your damn timeline. Nothing but tracking videos started coming up on my timeline. So I was like, okay, I seen them before. I've been just calling. I told him I ain't had no thirty day, no experience. And he was like, that's fine. We'll get you with a trainer. So him, he was like, cool because his mentor was getting on his damn nerves. Matter of fact, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna force him into making. I'm gonna, I'm gonna force my co-driver into making a YouTube because y'all need to hear his first his mentor training was with that shit was crazy <laughs> it was not like crazy crazy but it just was like damn like damn but um i ended up calling crst and we ended up leaving because i had to wait for him to come back and then we had to also wait for we did the drug test so what crst did is you do the drug test before you even go out for rotation so we had to wait like two weeks for that shit to come back so at that point we were already in november we ended up leaving after Thanksgiving to start with them. And our orientation was in Iowa because that's where their headquarters is at. So they got us a little rental to Iowa. Baby, one of that rental was shit. That particular car was shit, but that's when us for picking it. It was cool. I was like, I think it was like supposed to be like a 14 hour drive or some shit like that. It ended up turning a lot longer because we kept stopping for breaks. I ain't gonna lie, I drove to Virginia because I had to pick some up from my own house. After that, I was like, can you drive? Cause I'm irritated. <laughs> I was just stressed. So, we get to Iowa, they got their own little, like, they have their own building to where the drivers stay, like, they don't pay for hotel because they got their own, like, housing, if that makes sense. And the thing, orientation is, like, in that same building. So we ain't even have to do too much. Orientation was cool. I think it was about, orientation, if I'm not mistaken, was about a week. It was either four days to a week. It, I'm pretty sure it was a week. Nothing but e-learners. We didn't have to do drug tests. Free trip back in road test. I was nervous for the back end because I was like, I ain't never done this before. They was like either 45s or 90s, no straight backs. So I was like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. The dude, he was like, I can't. He was like, I can't instruct you because like if I'm telling you to do not, I have to fail you. So he was like giving me little hints and helping me back up. <laughs> Took me a minute, but I got it. So apparently it was too it was people watching. It was like you did a lot better than like what you think. So I was like, okay. Okay. Anyways, um, I had to wait a couple days for a trainer. I got an, I always ask for a non-smoking female. And yeah, we gonna get to why I don't like males because I ended up having a male trainer. One male trainer I got just, so we, gonna, we gonna get to that in a minute. So I waited a few days for a trainer. She was cool. She was, she was cool. I ain't gonna lie to you, she was cool. We had talked, we had like met up first because she had just got hired for the company as well. So we was waiting on the truck and then the first load we did, it was going like probably like right down the street. But the trailer, it was they did it. We did it because the trailer was fucked up. So she didn't let me drive. She was like, "I'm not gonna let you do your first load and it's with the trailer like that." So she drove. I just went along with her. And then the second load, we were supposed to be going to Wisconsin, but come time for the second day, mind you, oh, she also treated me and my co-driver out to this um place called Vivian's in Cedar Rapids, y'all. Hold up. Ooh. They wasn't stingy either. Oh, y'all, I can't, I can't get myself. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all, 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 I'm gonna show y
that kind of hurt <laughs> that shit i'm gonna show you the food that shit was so fucking good y'all oh my god i'm kind of sad now um <laughs> so come time to do our second but it was like oh well we, they hired her under the wrong count so she they fucked up basically on her end so she wasn't my mentor anymore had to wait like a week or two and then i ended up getting my second mentor my second mentor was Louise Purchase and she was out of Missouri. Uh, St. Louis. She was out of St. Louis. So um me and her end up we ended up talking on the phone or whatever. They set me up a room to go meet her. She what happened was she was home. But her truck was in Indiana, so it was it was like on the way. So I went and picked her up. And her truck her truck I got out the shop. Did I already mention she was lease purchase? I don't know if I mentioned she was lease purchase or not. So she was lease purchase and um her truck was in a in a shop, so at least purchase. That's why I mentioned it because it's, it's real important. So to stay with me. So I ain't gonna lie, I had a nice ass rental. I'm gonna hold y'all that rental though. Fire as fuck. This bitch cute as fuck. I think fuck up Benz, bitch. I think I want this as my next color. I ain't gonna lie, that shit. I always said I want to off topic real quick. I always said I want a Chrysler 300, right? It's like some Chrysler SRT or something like that. It got it got discontinued, but I want one. I'ma get in my damn car because that shit was cute as hell. I had some fire ass rentals. I ain't gonna lie. I was like my my whole training shit was a vacation. And y'all about to find out why. Um, but yeah, we just made a plan. Like okay, we gonna meet up there. Uh, so drove to drove to um St. Louis. It was cool. I ain't gonna lie. I saw some shops that I wanna go back to because I passed like outlet. And mind you, this is during like Christmas now. It was, yeah, it was my, around Christmas time, so all the holiday lights and shit up. I was like, oh my gosh, it was cold with the shit though. We went, she was like, no rush, I was just like chilling. Got to her, which was like a three, four hour drive. And then we met up, we packed the car up, and by the time I got to her, it was a little late. Actually, no, I'm sorry, I got to, I got to her, but she wasn't home, cause she had to do something. So, um, she not buying me like food, I don't know why. I don't know what the hell they put in that chicken out there, but that shit was good, I don't even know where she got it from. No way, I think it was Chinese, but baby, that shit was good as shit. I was eating good that whole time. When I finally, we finally got there, she had called the shop, whatever, because they was like, basically, we ain't open. I mean, it was closed, so he was like, all right, we'll just stay the night. We were supposed to wake up early, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, get out there. We didn't do that. I don't even know what time we left, but yeah, so we drove, got, we went to Walmart, got the truck, and then we ended up getting some food, and then we returned to Rental. Cause it was a weekend at this time. We turned the rental. We ended up sitting. I think we got the truck Saturday, so we sat for Sunday and Monday. Cause basically they was like, it really ain't. They don't really give you a, at that time. I don't know if it's still like that. Um. Yeah, we had sat at pilot for the whole weekend, just chilling. We just was chilling. I ain't gonna lie. I put her on the Miss Pat, so she had her iPad. What well, she had, she gave me the idea to do this. Hence, that's why I have my iPad and I'm gonna set it up in the truck. So, um, we was just watching Miss Pat. Cause she was crazy. She was cool. Cool as shit. Well, what you think I should have done? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Somebody mm -hmm. need to invite me to. So, um, I don't remember the first little. All I remember is it was like going. It was summer. All I remember is going to Arizona at that point, which was like probably my second drop off or some shit. Cause all she was doing was FedEx at that time. So, um, now at least purchase, they would give them loads and they could tell them like. Basically, if the math ain't math, then when it come to, because you know, this person got paid for their own gas. If it wasn't math, then she was like, no, nah, I'm not taking this. So we got the Arizona load. That was like some pretty decent shit. So that was my first time going out there. I did not take any pictures, which I wish I would have. I wish I would have. I hate driving through New Mexico. It's completely miserable. That whole state is just miserable. But when I finally got Arizona, I was like, yes, right? It was so weird because it would like dry, snowy dry. So when I first got to Arizona, I was like, oh my God, this is so fucking cute. Especially when I got in the mountains and it was like real snowy, at least in that part. I don't know where the hell I was. It was so pretty. Oh my God, it was so pretty. I don't got no pictures, right? Then I get into the desert shit. Now I'm on my way. The drop off was in Phoenix. <sighs> Yo, oh my God. It, it was like never fucking ending at this point. I'm like, yo, are we there yet? Like, are we there yet, bro? It, it I was pissed off because I, I lost connection, so my music stopped. 
and then it ain't nothing but desert. Then I'm seeing inside. I thought, oh, they got wild buffaloes. Whole time this wild look, wild elks. I ain't know that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? They got some wild buffaloes out here. I forgot how the hell I found out. You know, they got wild elks out that bitch. But it was like nothing. You could see um tumbleweeds and shit, cactus and shit, all that. I'm like, it was never ending. I don't even know how long I was out that motherfucker. The minute I went, I had like a little bit of city, I guess. I was gonna do something. I was like, oh my god, okay. Psych, right back into that bullshit. <laughs> it is nothing but mountains. I was chilling. I was going slow as shit. She was in the back sleep. So we finally get to Phoenix, right? Oh fuck! I didn't realize that Arizona and California. I'm on the East Coast. I don't know shit about the West Coast. I didn't know they was that close to each other. Like how Jersey and New York is like right next to each other. I didn't know that. So all the Phoenix traffic is going into California. So it was like hectic. And then some jackass didn't control his trailer ended up hitting the damn mirror. Luckily it didn't break. I ain't say shit. I ain't say nothing until we was like, you know, I was like, she was like, what is that? I said a truck hit your mirror, but I don't think she heard me. Then when she finally came up there, I was like, look, she was like, did he knock the mirror? I was like, no, I ain't fucking not. He didn't though. But it just pissed me off. But I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? Then we finally dropped the trailer off at FedEx, right? Why the hell? I went to disconnect from the trailer and I had to do something. I don't even remember what the fuck I had to do. I don't remember what it was that I had to do. Somehow I ended up getting out. I think I had to call him because you just couldn't go in the building or something. So I had to read off the trailer number. Truck turn off, right? Because it was sitting. It was just idling too long. So just turn off on its own. That shit did not start back up. It broke down. <laughs> that shit broke down. So we had to call the tow truck, which I'm going to also put in here. Yeah, our truck broke down. Look at this shit. <laughs> I'm over this fucking company. They had to put us in a hotel, so we've been sitting over the weekend again. Oh, oh shit. Mind you, I cannot remember for the life of me where the fuck we were going. After Arizona, it was a blur. Because I don't remember where the fuck we got stuck at. First time, so me, she got jump started. Then that last time, that truck said, bitch, I'm done, is what it said, because it was it was just done. I want to say we got towed a total of three times, but I cannot remember. It might have been a little bit twice. It's it's in my it's in my shit. I'm going to show y'all. Anyways, weekend, it had been like a minute since I got my hair done, so I went and got my hair done. I went shopping. She had bought us some food. That ran down ass shit. Bro, they put us in a fucking, I ain't even gonna pronounce it. I'm not gonna pronounce it. I ain't even gonna do that to myself or y'all. It was just a rain down ass hotel. They had, it was like crackheads outside. Like they had a cop downstairs just watching shit. It was just disgusting. Anyways, we was there for like two days, ended up leaving, getting a little out of there, going somewhere else. I don't remember where we was going. I think we was going to like North Carolina, some shit. We went somewhere, but coming out of Arizona, it was my turn to drive, right? Went to stop and take my 30. Same problem. She had to call. I think I turned the truck off just to let the move, like, just for just the engine to sit, right? Or something. I did something. Truck ain't start. That's when I was like, oh, you can't let the truck. That's why she was like, oh, yeah, just don't let the truck turn off after that because it was something wrong with her starter. Had to wait like an hour to get jump started. I think this load was going to North Carolina that we had. in the midst of it we stopped in um oklahoma city hated there too i gotta go back just to see like maybe i'm tripping i love driving through it at night it's so pretty because you know like city when you drive through cities at night it just hit different it's so pretty i love it but that's how i got on that shit because they took all fucking day there she called literally and this would piss me off right she called them they was like do you have a starter on hand right it was like, yeah, so whoever she called for maintenance, she they put it in that for her when we get there, it's already a starter, it's already a starter sitting in there for, for them to change her starter. They I think she said they changed her batteries, let the truck region, and it was like, okay, it's good. Didn't change the fucking starter. And right there is when they pissed me the fuck off. I was like, okay, bet. Mind you, this truck is like a 2016 truck. So with hella miles on, I don't even know how much miles is on her shit. I did not look. Because she would feel she would fuel up her truck. We get to OKC. We were sitting there all fucking day. We washed clothes. She had like two loads to do or some shit. She did some shit. Cleaned out her truck, all that. We both fell asleep in the fucking thing. Went and got food. And they were like, you done. That's how I got put on fucking night shift. That shit pissed me off. 
because I like driving during the day. So, yeah, we get to North Carolina, whatever. She started. We, I, I, my body just fucked up from nights because I went to take my 30. I was like, she was like, I need to, you know, instead of taking 30, if you want to go to sleep, just take an hour. Apparently, I fell asleep for two hours. And I didn't mean to because he was already late from being, you know, whatever. So, with North Carolina, she dropped a little off that morning or some shit like that. We finally get there. She ended up, she was the one that dropped it, dropped it off. And we had, the next though wasn't due to like later on that day, like late, like 11 o'clock or some shit like that. So we had sat, we had sat for a minute or it wasn't due like the next day until like 11, 11 p.m. Mind you, I'm on nights, right? So we get there, I pick the trail up, all that other dumb shit. I think we were supposed to be, supposed to be, because at this time, I only been, I was on a trip with her for like a week. That was, week one was Arizona, her getting broke down. And then week two came in to where she was switching, because I ain't gonna lie, them days went by fast. And you team it, it's more so like, me and her, because it turned after three days, it was like, we teaming. So, she was doing more of the delivering and shit than I was. I just was driving the majority of the time. So, I don't remember what, when the fuck we got to North Carolina, we sat there for a minute, and then we left to go to, I think we were supposed to be on our way back to St. Louis, or Indiana, it was one of the two, but I know it was close to her going home, because she was like, I'm going to go home for Christmas, because she had a kid, and it was like, I'll come back out for you for that week, because we were supposed to do the requirements was, I think, 10 or 20 straight backs, and 45s or 90s or some shit like that, and then 12,000 miles all together to drive and then training was complete she was like if they sent us back out west again to come back we should be good that was a plan we leave north carolina yo this shit was crazy i was on the phone with him because he we both ended up being on nights together so i was like i'm getting, bitch, I'm getting tired so he was like we'll be on the phone keep me up through the night da 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 out of north carolina i'm in the middle of the fucking mountains i guess the truck something happened and I, all i know is it caught on fire if that if i still have that video i will put that in here we were sitting there for like two hours i had i stopped i had pulled the brakes and she heard it she was like she woke up she was like what's going on i said it's an accident we just in the stand still right now she went back to sleep then we end up we get to tennessee on our way back to wherever the fuck i cannot remember where i'm gonna have to look on my map to probably tell y'all what my fact and look we doing that we get to Tennessee, I ran, so with me being held up for two hours, obviously it kind of backed me up, so I was like, I'm gonna run the shit out of my clock, I'm gonna run the shit out of it, because I used to wait, if I had like 45 minutes to an hour, then we would switch. Mm -mm. I had between five and 15 minutes left on that shit. <laughs> laughing at me. I had between five and 15 minutes left on there. So she was getting herself ready, right? The truck shut off, would not start. I should have sat there so it wouldn't turn off. It was supposed to be dropped off in Kansas, somewhere in Kansas or some shit like that. So she would be able to get back home for Christmas and all that other dumb shit. But yeah, anyway, we had drove through, we had drove through Tennessee. We drove through um, Tennessee and that's where we got stuck at. Got to, got us a hotel. At this point, she was like, they was like, um, how long she, they was, the truck had to go in the shop, I'm sorry, because her plan was over Christmas, put the truck in the, in the shop by her house, because she know they work fast, the one in fucking Tennessee, yo, in the heart of fucking Memphis, a fucking freight liner shop, nothing but truck stuff, big ass lot full of trucks, ain't even been touched yet, we was like, yeah, I already knew at that point, I was like, they gonna put it, give me another mentor, and they did. So we over there trying to get that to Mind you, my driver, my um, student driver, crazy, like me and her only contact, at least if I think that was a woman, I don't even know. Cause it could have been, it was like, it's one of them names where you don't know if it's a woman or a man. I ain't gonna say, I ain't gonna say her name, but if you ever see this, fuck you, bitch. Cause yo, I, I never want, like I'll be wishing bad on people or we want people to lose their jobs, but that bitch right there, she need to lose her fucking job because never answered the phone. I'm gonna tell you what the fuck they did to me during that week of Christmas, right? Anyways, they was like talking to me. Mind you, somebody called me on her behalf and was like, um, mentor wise, you know, what's going on? Oh, I'm sorry, they was asking me, like, what was I going for Christmas? I'm like, I don't need to go home. One, I said, I don't need to go home because this is mainly like I've been like Midwest, West Coast. So I'm like, if I go, I'm gonna have to drop all the way back. So I said, I'm good. I could just keep rolling. 
but I already knew like Christmas everybody off the truck. So I said, I'll even take a mail. I don't care. I'm almost done. Just, just give me anybody to where I could just keep going, right? It's like, okay. He says, send me where you at. I said, Memphis, Tennessee, or I send my location. This dumbass set up for me a rental. They sent me up a rental to go meet another person like the next day. Because that night we ended up staying night in the hotel, which is where I had Waffle House for the first time. And that shit was so fucking good. I've had Waffle House after that. I've had it in Pennsylvania. Have you had it, Marilyn? No. So I've just had it in Pennsylvania. Trash when I had it in Pennsylvania. But maybe for the first time, I have, I have, could go. They could go. Because Waffle House is where it's at. Waffle House I don't fuck with pancakes like that, so. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, shut up, cause he just has some smart ass shit. I probably heard what he said. I hear what he said, cause I can't hear shit. But anyways, um, yeah, and that's when I got the charger as a rental. Oh shit, nigga, nigga, we outside. Yeah, the key's still in there. We outside this bitch. We outside now. They done fucked up. They done fucked up giving my ass a charger. I don't know. They may not get this bitch back. Baby, I was styling and profiling people. This guy knew what the fuck I was doing when I posted it. I posted, I posted a pic of that charger. I was like, I'm back outside. People thought I got a new car. I'm like, no. Let's just say it was people in my business, and I knew they was in my business, but that just confirmed it. And I had to tell a few people off because you know, like, you get a good job, and motherfuckers just start pocket watching, bitch. Don't don't try to pocket watch me because I'm gonna do some shit and piss you off and throw you completely off for it. Don't pocket watch me. My money I get is for me and my lifestyle, okay? It is not to take care of your ass. I don't got kids for a reason. The fuck? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's yeah. Back to what I'm saying now. Anyways, we went, we drove oh ended up driving to apparently my new mentor was in Missouri. So the next day, after we left the hotel, mind you, oh no, no, that's before, I, that's before I, I'm getting ahead of myself. They got me in the room. I was like, since she was this person, she had to pay for her, her stuff back. I was like, I gotta go to St. Louis. You live in St. Louis. Let's just, like, you could just ride with me. It ain't no, like, no, ain't tripping. I had the person's number. I tried to call the person, tried to test the person. They never answered me. I'm trying to call these people. I was like, is this person still my mentor? The bitch that the student manager bitch or whatever she is mind you she's barely even answering my text at this point they were supposed to pay for an uber from my uber to get from the hotel to the um rental place which is the airport these bitches ain't fucking do that i had to pay for it she was like well and they were supposed to reimburse me for gas as well for the first run so keep all this in mind because you just send them the gas for any runs you get you send them the gas if you gotta take ubers or whatever that they were supposed to pay for you send them all of that, they will, they will reimburse you. Keep all that in mind. So, um, we went to where the truck was at. She ended up cleaning out the truck, and then we drove. It was like a real bad snowstorm. So, I just took my time, drove them, and then we went back to her house. Um, went back to her house. We, I posted her. Um, she let me, luckily, she was so fucking nice. She let me stay the night at her house. Mind you, these motherfuckers just told me to go to Missouri. They ain't even, they ain't know I, st I stayed the night at her house. They had, I made them get me a hotel room and they ended up saying they had to find me somebody else because apparently the person um, ended up, the person that they assigned me ended up getting out the truck without them knowing because it's Christmas. And I learned that they like to play with people's home time or family time when they come to holidays or just getting off, period. So they sent me up for the hotel. I'm in a hotel in St. Louis for a whole week. I don't think that, I think I was like outside of St. Louis, but whatever. I kept that car on me just in case. I was like, okay, if y'all own some stupid ass shit, I'm gonna just drive this car all the way back to Maryland. Fuck it. Um, so I had I was sitting for the whole Christmas come like New Year's or some shit like that. I had left either New Year's Eve. Nope. It's close. So I must have left just it was between I must I had to just leave just after Christmas because during no. No, I'm sorry. My dates are a little confused because all that shit happened. I was with my Second mentor, we gonna call her. Damn, I almost called her real fucking name. God damn it. We'll call her Daniela. I was with Daniela for two weeks. And then two possibly going on three weeks. So it was like a couple days before Christmas. 
I, I, I don't even know. I have to, I gotta go in my stuff and look and then I'll probably go back and put the dates in. I don't know. All I know was by Christmas, they found me some dude. The first dude they found me, I called him because, you know, some men don't take showers every day and I'm a female. So I'm going to take a shower every day with my first, I'm sorry, with Daniela. I didn't have no problems. We was taking showers every day. Not going past, you know, we ain't had no problems taking a shower every day. So with him, he said he was skipping days and all that other shit. So once he said that, I said, okay. Um, he said, since I'm a female, we can do it like every other day or like every two days or some shit like that. I'm like, that ain't going to work. Because you already know, once you're going to go cycle, bitch, you got to wash every day. That shit is disgusting. Like, I was like, oh, no. So then I asked him, so if you tell him you skipping days, your truck got to be fucking disgusting. Because I was like, so how often do you clean your truck then? Because remember, I got I to gotta put my shit on your truck. He was like, he started laughing. I guess he didn't like that I said that. So then I said, mm -hmm, okay. I called I called him. I said, y'all got to give me somebody else. Because I need to be able to shower every day. And some Karen ass bitch called me and was like, oh, you know, that's the being on truck. It's not possible. Bitch, what the fuck would you know? Because you ain't never drove a truck in your life. The fuck? Now, there are certain times when you won't be able to shower every day. Like, you know. But it's like, it's weird. But I was able to do it even when we got with Warner. On that Coca-Cola account, never had no problems taking a shower. I was showering every day. Um, they found me somebody else. He was coming from his hometown for Christmas. So on Christmas, they was like, you still got the car? I was like, yeah. He was like, okay, drive back to Iowa so we can meet, so I can meet him because that's where that truck was, whatever. So we ended up having a little, da -da -da. I think I was only there. I only spent the night there, which was Christmas because I didn't have a roommate. Do I have a pit? I have videos of what that those rooms look like. Oh, well, guess who's back in prison? Me. I'll insert those as well. Um, I went out. We gonna call. We gonna call my um. We gonna, we gonna call my last, last and final. No, Willie. Sam. We gonna call him Willie. Okay. Some older dude. He was pretty cool. He just. He just, you know how like people like to make conversation. It was some stuff he told me that just was too personal. Like, he should just not have told me, cause I didn't need to know all that essentially. But he was a company driver, and only there was here. See, their company trucks had in face it for and feel like facing in the cab, um, cameras with video and audio, so they can hear and see every fucking thing. Cause I mean, one time I was driving, I was looking, I going, I was looking down at my phone. I was just changing the song on my damn phone. And two weeks later, they called me. It was like, were well, you on your phone such and such day? I didn't remember that I was on my fucking phone, but I was like, yeah. It was like, don't do that again. I said, okay, sure, whatever. By the time they called me, I didn't even work with them no more. But anyways, we went from, I didn't go too far with Willie. Shit, that's too close to his real fucking name. <laughs> I didn't go too far with him. We went from Iowa to, I'm looking on here. I think we went from Iowa. We had to go. Uh, that's my first time going to Utah. We went to Utah, so I had to drive through Nebraska, Wyoming. That's where we got stuck on New Year's. Stuck in fucking Wyoming for two days because of the snow. And I was just complete hell. Get to Utah, and this is another reason where, where this is where CRST fucked up the second time with me. Actually, no, this is like the third or fourth because of the miscommunication. It's really the communication, and my main person that I need to talk to is not answering me. Not even through text, this bitch does not fucking answer. Um... Anyways, yeah, this is when I had went to Utah, so. They gave us a second load after we dropped off the first one, the one that we had going there, right? And then we went to drop it off. By the time we get to where we were supposed to go, it was like a load close to where we was um, going. Or uh, supposed to be going after we dropped off the load we had in Utah. These motherfuckers took the load away. They was like, well, we'd be able to make it. We was like, yeah. We would have made it in time to get up, get the pick up the other load. Why they took it is beyond me. The motherfuckers and they did that shit with, with Daniela. They did that shit with Daniela. Gave her a load, snatched it away. Like they just quit for taking shit, and I don't fucking know why. That that annoyed me because you just sitting and it's annoying. But anyways, yeah, we got shut down in Utah for two days. I'm sorry, why I'm for two days? Fucking hell, I hated every part of it. I think I have a picture from when the snow was looking crazy and then coming out of utah we were supposed to be on our way to 
Illinois. We had a load. We picked up in Utah, went back out. Um, did we have to pick up? We had like a relay or some shit. No. Yeah, we had, so we was taking that trailer from, we had the load we had, the loaded trailer we got, the load we picked up in Utah was going back to the CRST terminal in Iowa. So we dropped that off, picked up an empty, no, we dropped that loaded trailer off, I'm sorry, we picked up a relay trailer and picked up a new loaded trailer that was going to Illinois. And that's when I, my first time in Chicago, it was cooling off and then we had a load going to Jersey. We got a load going to Jersey. Now my birthday, if this my birthday is on January 10th, so my birthday coming up, I'm like, bitch, I done had a year. 2022 was a rough year, so I was like, I need to go. Regardless, I was always gonna go to New York for my birthday because I got friends up there. So I was like, I need to go hang with my girls and everything and just relax, right? And then come back, finish training, boom, we, me and him hit the road and we chilling just to clear my head, right? No, I had to, I ended up getting off his truck in Jersey because they sent him all the way, he had a little going all the way out to Seattle. I said, I'm not going to make it back in time. Like, I'm not. And then, y'all like to play with people getting back. Like, y'all already, already had set up the date and all that. Me and him both had set up the dates of when we was going, going our little, you know. I knew when I was going to come back, it was going to be way past my birthday because we were supposed to be there close to the 10th. Or something like that i was like i'm not spending my fucking birthday on some fucking truck with a stranger i'm not doing that so only cool part about him i'm going to lie is he did end up giving me off topic is when we in iowa we stopped showered um got food i think the place that he went up was closed or some shit so i ended up doing uber eats and i ended up paying for stuff because it was obviously listening so he gave me money back for the food and then he gave me an extra ten dollars for my birthday i was like oh, okay you cool Cause he really didn't have to do that. That was the only like nice part about him. Well, not nice. He was. Let me not say nice part. He was cool. Just like it was certain stuff he was telling me. I'm like, all right, bro. This, 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 this too much shit. And I don't. You don't need to tell me any of this. Like, it was like some real like TMI shit. I was like, this is why I don't do men as trainers. I don't. But um, I'm sorry. I'm looking on this map to see where where the fuck I went at. But yeah, they gave me a little all the way out to Washington to seattle washington i didn't know that she was like far fucking west like west it's fucking at the top of that i'm like oh fuck no mm -mm. no not doing it so i got off in jersey got me a rental and i went to straight up to new york <laughs> i went straight up to new york and went with my friends and I, was, was up there for a I was yeah because and i was still stuck yeah okay yeah, so I was just like trying to work with them. I'm like, you know, I wasn't saying, oh, I didn't want to do the low, but I'm like, is there something you could give us something closer? You know, we're going back and forth. They was like, no, I'm like, all right, cool. And I just quit right then and there. I ain't telling them I was getting off the truck. I think he might have told them, but I, but they just took it as also we going on vacation anyway. On my birthday though, his driver manager did call me. Was like, you know, I'm gonna wish you birthday. And I was like, thank you. But during that whole week though, I was plotting. I had called Warner. Oh. One of the other truckers that I watched, she was with Warner, and that's what made me look into Warner. And I was like, oh, okay, they're cool. So, I called Warner, then I hope he was off. Mind you, I was supposed to get, and this is where the fuck shit comes in, right? I was supposed to get paid. So, the following week with me getting off his truck, that was like, that week, so, we get paid weekly. I had got, like, the week I was home, I actually quit. I was supposed to get paid. That was the week of Christmas, mind you, for Christmas. I mean, we just gonna say for Christmas, I was sitting, right? It was like a whole week of me sitting. It might have not been Christmas exactly, but that week, whatever. I was sitting. I forgot when I, Karen, when I said that Karen bitch called me, right? She was like, well, why would we want to hire you? Because technically, if you're in training, you're not technically hired. It was some bullshit she shot it to me. I said, I ain't never said I was quitting, but I'm not getting on this man's truck because it's probably dirty. And then he texted me getting smart, like, if you're not here by a certain time, da da da. Get the fuck off my phone because I already see how that's going to go because I do not let anybody talk to me how they want. I don't play that shit. I'm an adult, you're an adult, so you're going to talk to me and treat me as such. Because if you want to get disrespectful, I'm going to go to hell because, bitch, you're not going to play with me. So, yeah, I was like, no. And that turned into a whole bunch of shit. And then I think I ended up telling her manager, and he ain't like glad. That's when I, I don't really be telling about his managers on that. I ain't got time for that stupid shit. But in that case, I did because you're not going to threaten me, talk about firing me. 
but this would have this would have funny ass shit coming right anyways when i finally i didn't officially quit but they just thought i was on vacation i'm at my i'm at my own boy house right why the fuck i ain't getting paid i'm like hold up i called them i was like why wasn't i paid they was like you was on home time i said no i wasn't i said i was sitting in there oh i'm sorry i'm sorry hold up even before that with before they assigned me really after a certain day they was like why because i had to call every day to get the room extended somebody was like why are you in a hotel i was like because i'm waiting on a trainer they was like what they was like really they was like they don't even have you in here waiting as a trainer that was red flag number fucking one so um when i get to uh, my homeboy house i was like why didn't i get paid they was like oh you was on home from i said no i wasn't i said i was in a hotel in fucking missouri waiting on a fucking trainer and they basically was like well whatever and oh i was supposed to get all my reimbursements from both rentals and the ubers that i should have had to take i sent that to that dumbass bitch i should say her name it started with a s h a that's all i'm saying <laughs> i ain't gonna say the last three but the first two that doesn't her name yeah bitch fuck you <laughs> anybody probably working in the ubers exactly who the fuck i'm talking about they might but anyways i i had called my i had to call that um willie's drive manager i was like hey i never got any of my reimbursements and then he was like he pulled it up oh no i'm sorry i had got paid i got paid for some shit i forgot i forgot how to find how i found out i didn't get none of my reimbursements so i called him i had to send resend him all my receipts and then they were supposed to be on like my next check i got and that was like a hundred and something dollars worth of shit Cause I ended up getting paid from when I was on that truck with, with the week with Willie, right? I'm still getting trained to pay at this point. My shit never switched to mileage back. So that's how I called. I started getting stuff set up with Warner. When I called Warner, we going through all the background check. She said, you was with CRST twice? I said, no. They said they had me in there from October. I'm sorry, not to November something to December something and back in there from December to now. I said, no, I said, that's not even accurate. I said that's not accurate but i said i would it was a point in time where i was sitting waiting for a new trainer and they probably took me out the system and that's where that shit pissed me the fuck off at so when i finally told them i quit when with my week orientation morning which is what i'm about to get into i texted i was like how come i wasn't paid for that week i wasn't for a training they she gave me i don't even think i got them i don't got them text messages no more i'm gonna check but i don't i'm pretty sure i don't she was like basically some dumb ass shit that didn't make no sense but i'm like how i was like how that doesn't make any sense asking like for somebody to explain it to me because what she said doesn't make sense i think it's some of the online lines of my training something ran out so they couldn't pay me for that week because i was it was something that didn't make no fucking sense i'm gonna see if i can find it which i'm pretty sure i deleted it but i'm like how i said how i didn't even i wasn't even getting smart i was like how like that don't make sense we texting because i tried to call her she would never answer the phone so she never elaborated this was pretty much like she don't give a fuck it's pretty much what it gave because she just ignored my text like the bitch ass bitch that she is <laughs> so matter of fact i say scary ass bitch because if we would have got on the phone i probably would have cursed her out so it's a good thing she did with me because crs she just played my money completely that whole fucking time i think the training pay was like five to six hundred dollars maybe i don't even i don't remember but then that's how i got with warner since I I had came since I came I only had 30 days with the training I had to go out they was like it was supposed to last between like what a week and two weeks or some shit like that no it was supposed to last no between three days and two weeks or some shit like that but I went out with my trainer they one shit was pretty quick it's a whole week we're the same thing they actually drug test you there yo 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 that fucking my fucking orientation class bro for warner it was like the instructor she was cool but the rest of the class it, it, it's it, oh my god they was pissing me off because it's the difference between not knowing stuff so you're asking so you can know and then just straight up dumbass questions because common sense does not exist bro that shit was just insane I don't know if there's anybody from one of that have actually i think there's one dude from my orientation that watches this i ain't gonna say his name but like you you know you two of them this is temporary using orientation me too but like 
you know that shit yo i'm like how did you manage to pass to get your cdl how slave and pretty much anyway <laughs> the majority of the class was um an experience like just, a lot of them just had just got their licenses and everything so um a lot of us a lot of them did have to go out with trainers <sighs> but um yeah we did our whole week basically the first day paperwork drug test all other stupid shit physical you gotta take a whole new physical thing day two it was like part and yo that was another thing these motherfuckers sitting here asking dumb ass questions it was shit it was like just straight up stupid ass shit coming out of their mouths i'm not saying this because it's like oh well they're they're inexperienced they don't know nothing no 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 and half the shit they were saying like let's just say if the teacher said make sure the fifth wheel don't have no when you backing into it make sure there's no gap between the fifth wheel and the, um the fifth wheel and what the apron that's the apron right mm -hmm. Apron, I, I, the shit that left my brain because I already know what the fuck I'm doing. Yo, these motherfuckers would ask something like remedial, like, like what you mean? Like they would say, I can't even think of something like this. Like I can't think of something. Like, it was just well, well, uh, Warner the first time. Like, they, oh, they made everybody look. And, you know, like, yo, like, do you see a gap? No, we don't. Yeah, well, it was like might not know what to look at, so. it was so, it was like something stupid. It wasn't it wasn't like nothing that was like okay they didn't know so they asked. Like problem is if Warner got this program, it's like basically if you do two years with them, you get some like award from like DOT or something like that with something 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 I don't remember I don't, I don't fucking remember. So the instructor was saying like the te like the orientation instructor she was like I really I highly suggest this for young people like for like the younger ones in the class do it now. Don't wait, you know, do it now. Like to sign up for like, so it could look better on our records is what she was saying. That's all she said. Cause it was somebody in there that was 21. Mind you, I ain't that much older. I'm only 22, <laughs> but he was the youngest in the class. So she was like, I really highly suggest you do it, right? And it was like free to sign up for, um, sign up for only gaggies. You gotta work for Warner for two years. It's not a contract and I think it was just like, that's the only, Warner, so far, is the only ones that had that program. I can't remember what it's called. Anybody on here might, some somebody on here might know. I don't remember what it is. But, yo, so this stupid motherfucker sat here and said, why did you only suggest it to the young people? That's not what the fuck she said. That is not what the fuck she said. She said, I highly suggest you do it. It's open for any and everybody to do it. It's really for people that just got their CDLs for y'all to do it. All of them in there, except for this one couple in there, been just got their shit. So sign up for it. But she was just saying, I just suggest, you know, the younger ones. That's all she said. She wasn't said like it. Like it was just stupid. Like he pissed me off. I'm looking. I, I had to make eye contact with this motherfucker because I was like, like, are you done? Did you not hear with the yo know, that whole when she brought up that whole two year thing? It's like you can sign up for free. After you do your two years, you'll get a sir. A certificate from is it DLT? That two year thing from Warner. Yeah, it's like I think it's, it's like it's something. It's like something you get without recognizing you for being a nice, safe driver. That's all she said, and we spent a good 20, 30 minutes, possibly fucking forty, talking about this shit. And I just was like, "Ain't no way, ain't no way, y'all not comprehending this shit. It, it, it's not. It ain't no way." Ain't no fucking way. They was pissing me the fuck off. Especially after he said that dumb shit. I'm like, did you just want to hear yourself talk? Because that shit pissed me off. I'm still, I just got pissed off thinking about it. Oh, well. Fuck it. It's 11.24 right now, and I got to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. But I already took my shower and everything tonight. So when I get up in the morning, I got to do shit. I'm going to do my hair tonight, too. I'll be here, probably. I'm still trying to be here. Oh, I had to get my hair shaken. Right after I'm done talking to him, I'm gonna do my hair. But um Yeah. Then day two, they showed us how to do the 45. It was like pre trip You just was really it just was the dude with a group of us sitting there talking about, you know, we walked around the truck and we did the end cap shit. That's it. 45 and 90. Now if anybody didn't know how to do it, they literally walk you through how to do it. And it's like that I ain't gonna lie, like I wish I had that the first time. Only reason I couldn't go one or do my 30 day training is because I had did my school at Swiss so they didn't take other carrier students. So that's how I got fucked and ended up with CRST. 
because I, I already knew I wanted to work with Warner, period. So, yeah, but I was like, damn, I wish, that's what I'm saying, you want to do your research. I was like, damn, I wish I would have had this because that actually made me feel better when we went with Warner. But by by the time we came Warner, I already came in with shit, so it was like, whatever. Um, let's see, our STV was in there with everybody in there, pretty much was experienced, so they already knew what they was doing. It came to the back end. I was, we was asking, like, how do we set up? A lot of niggas wasn't like, well, we need to hurry the fuck up. They was like, you know, they was cool about it. We was asking them because obviously it was like, I don't know if I made it out, but I was nervous as shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but that was, I would definitely say that's like pro tip, and then they teach you, like, it's like some. Um, corner you gotta go in. They teach you like a maneuver how to get past that. I said tight corner. I'm sorry, I meant tight turn. You gotta do. They teach you a trick on how to do that. That's like an extra step, you know, extra mile teaching us that before you even go over the training. I ain't gonna lie, I was pretty quick getting the training after that one week. After that one week of doing the training, hmm, we got done Saturday because that's when we were hired, getting our IDs and everything and field guards and shit. So. I had my trainer by Monday. We, I got her quick. She was cool as shit. I ain't gonna lie. I still keep in contact with her till this day. That was magic. That was back in January. But she was cool as shit. I did a week with her after that. Um, and she taught. She definitely taught me a lot more than I'm gonna say my than Daniela did. Willie ain't teach me shit. My backing was fucking awful with him. My um, I ain't gonna lie, Daniela, she definitely walked me through how to do it, but that was kind of messing me up because she was telling me when to turn, when to back, and how to, you know, so tell me when you look here, or like, tell me when to turn, basically, like, helping me with my reference points of knowing when to turn to get the trailer, trailer straight into the spot or whatever. She just was telling me when to turn as I'm doing it, if that makes sense. So, it was more so trial and error when it came to me back in. By the time I got with, we gonna call her Noelle. <laughs> By the time I got with Noelle, she was, I asked her, I was like, I don't, everything I was telling her what I need to work on is because I learned it with Daniela and Billy. So, she was like, she didn't even know I needed help on a lot of shit that I did because she was like, you know, you're doing so well. I'm like, oh, so I'm glad I know when I'm fucking up, I ain't like, you can't see it on my face. <laughs> or like, I'm panicking because you can't see it on my face. So, then my little, I had to go to Atlanta to meet her. Her account was like up and down. We was from Georgia to Ohio, up and down that whole week. And by the end of that week, I was done. Tested out. Now, here's when the bullshit came in with them. Basically, they told my account. Basically, I had some personal shit going on. And then the account they told me was like three weeks, three weeks out. That was that Northeastern Dollar Tree Flex account. I thought it was only Dollar Tree. I probably wouldn't have minded if it was Dollar Tree. Actually, maybe I would have, but it was three weeks out one week home or some shit like that but it was out of connecticut i don't fucking live in connecticut so that was out of my way so i left because they had no other accounts and then like i said i had personal shit going on so i left for two weeks went to schneider because one of the dudes i didn't rip this out one of the dudes um that was in my orientation work for schneider he was like well, like we was all talking about companies and shit like that he was like mommy go to schneider i was like oh i said i didn't want to i never i didn't want to go with them because of their like cell phone policy and shit like how i be driving and backing and all that other shit schneider don't fuck with that like you can't do that and on top of that i'm like it's a big ass orange trailer because how y'all saw i work for Warner, and i was just backing with Warner. yeah i wasn't supposed to be doing all that i was supposed to be blurring out Warner. but by the time i started my youtube i was like i'm about to leave anyway so i'm gonna just show it whatever same shit with Snyder. I just knew I would get fired for that. Like, how I be bagging and just don't be blurring out. You know, it's an orange trail. It sticks out. So, yeah. Like, I don't really care for their rules too much. Like, it don't fit me. If that makes sense. Like, they just real stern, stern on those cell phones. And I ain't got a problem with that. But I, I knew I always wanted, I wanted to make a, a YouTube page for trucking. So, me and Snyder weren't going to be buzzing out of eye with it. But... They shit is real, and I ain't gonna lie, when I got with Warner, I felt like, oh, I'm secure here. Even with CRST, I know I was staying here, but I felt cool there. With Schneider, I just like, I feel like I don't fit in. Mind you, the class was like really small and everything, and it was all cool and all that other shit, but it just didn't feel like this is it for me, like this is the company for me. Pay was some shit. I was on some 
fucking account called I, I hold at whatever. It's an acronym. It's spelled like it was spelled. That's how it was spelled. That was the dedicated because I want some dedicated shit, and that's how it was spelled. I don't. It was called I hold something. It was an acronym for some other shit. Basically, I would. I was going to different warehouses. Um, I was just going from warehouse to warehouse. Basically, I went to some BJ's warehouse. I went to a smucker shit. It just was, yeah, I was just going to different warehouses and I love the shit. That pay was some fucking shit. I don't remember how much a mile sent per mile was getting paid. But my tax was no more. I don't really tell, I don't really come on here and tell people how much I make because it's money to get business. But for that, I was up and down from PA all the way up to Massachusetts. It's Rhode Island and Massachusetts next to each other. Hold up. Because I was on Rhode Island as well. I was between PA and going up from PA to Massachusetts off on the weekends. I was all over PA. Like, it wasn't specific, like, DCs. It was, like, different ones, if that makes sense. But I wasn't making no more than, like, 500. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, no. Nah, you got to go. And then my truck it was broken as hell. The it didn't. I didn't know that Freightliners... I didn't know, let me not even say just Freightliners. Right I didn't know that certain trucks did not come with idle. And they had some other shit. And my truck did not come with idle. And it was cold as hell in that truck. It was something wrong with the heater on there. It was like like fumes or some shit. And it wouldn't stay hot. It was just, it was just too much. I didn't even get too comfortable on that truck. And I'm going back to Warner for the Coca Cola account. And then went to the Dollar Tree account. And now I'm at this new company and yeah but that's what i'm saying don't do what i did i didn't what i would do is i had my head set on a certain like for example with crst after leaving swift right i didn't do my re complete research in the crst i saw everybody pretty much for the same break the same every, like when you do your research you see this company you pretty much gonna see the same shit payback communication that's gonna come with any fucking company that's what i'm starting to realize so whatever um yeah i didn't look into other companies besides that i knew warner wasn't gonna take me the crst said yes so i just went with them i didn't call around the different companies talking to them seeing how shit would be i didn't do that i set myself on one company was like okay i'm gonna just go here didn't do my proper research that's how i ended up with four or five i made sure i went from crst workwise crst Warner Schneider back to Warner. So I'm on my fourth company now. Then in six months, I just hit six months. We're in June, it's June 27th, so months. So I just hit six months of driving. My six months, I'm on my fourth fucking company. That's that's bad, like it's bad. And it don't look good when you calling other companies because they like you ain't staying nowhere for long. So, yeah, don't do what I did, do your research, call around the places. And if you don't, you know, if you happen to find somewhere that's better. Just yeah, just tell these companies no because recruiter will try to suck you in a such of orientation. And you ain't even get good morning now. Like they, they will do that shit. So do your research, definitely do not come in hot. Because the longer you stay with the company, the better your pay will be. And it just looks better on your work work history. Now, like I said, I'm not really if I happen to turn truck into a career, I will end up being an owner op or lease purchase. I won't stay company if i'm a end up going far i'm not going to be i'm not going to stay company that oh i'm sorry that's why i brought up lease purchase because lease purchase kind of taught me it taught me a lot in it and, um, ouch yeah so all together i ain't gonna lie swift i if they would have gave me a mentor in time on time i would um i probably would still be with them but since they didn't they just need to do they need to do better when it comes to the, that mentorship, because having to wait a month for a mentor and then you're not telling people how long the wait will be, not being realistic and straight up with people, that's when the unfair part comes in because people got shit going on. I didn't have time to be in two months outside, like to not be working. No, if I got a CDO, bitch, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it to use until I can't no more. So say since I'm gonna school in Whistler, I give that shit like out of ten, I give it like an eight and a half. CRST gets a complete one to ten. I get asses a fucking three and a half. Y'all could kiss my whole ass, cause that was ridiculous. That was just completely ridiculous. I'm professional as fuck. I will never go work for them ever again. 
And I ain't gonna lie, if I would, I would go back and work with Swift. I would go back and work with Warner. I don't want to no more, but you get, you know, if, I, if it really came down to that. I wouldn't go back to Schneider. Like, they was, I ain't gonna lie, the dispatch and everything was cool, but mm, it just didn't feel like, you know. But I would give them like an eight. I would probably give Warner, see, Warner, I done seen some shit with Warner. I ain't gonna tell you what the fuck I saw, but Warner get like a six and a half. <laughs> Out of 10, they get like a six and a half. They do give you newer equipment though. I just don't like why they keep giving internationals, bro. I'm not paying for no fucking fridge. I'm not doing that. And you gotta watch the fridge you get because you could possibly fry the fuck out the truck. I ain't gonna hold you. The company I'm putting that does have internationals. I'm praying to God, like on my knees. I don't, we don't get them international because they got freights as well in some other truck. I don't remember what the fuck they got. Some other truck they use. So I'm praying it's one, one of the two of those trucks. I'll gladly take a freight. I can't take no more internationals. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. I'm gonna lose my fucking mind if I do. But yeah, that was that's this little video. Y'all should get a vlog and like I ain't even, I don't know when the fuck I'm gonna get another video. I ain't gonna lie, I, life been life in and it's been real ghetto these past couple weeks. <laughs> so that's what that's why I ain't been posting because I've been in the truck. So I'm probably about to get back in the truck. So y'all, y'all be getting another vlog very soon. Bear with me because I'll be trying to think of titles. Like that last, that last, that last, um, what's the name? And I know it's like, oh, it's YouTube show to get the views. You gotta click that. But, um, yeah, I was talking about CDO Journey Part 1, bitch. Where was I talking about it? <laughs> like where? I was like, I didn't go into detail. That's why I had to write it down. Because I pretty much stayed on check with track with this um pretty much stayed on track with this shit all i'm gonna say is when it comes to accounts accounts is basically like okay for people that don't know what it is like what accounts are when it comes to tracking it's basically like it's equivalent to a department that you work in a store like for example if you worked at walmart you worked in a grocery department whatever that's basically what it is but they just call it accounts they got all different accounts for all different area codes and shit, okay? So just do your research. Cause this time coming to this company, I called other companies to weigh my options of who I think will be best. So far, these people are the best, but my whole trucking journey ain't been that cool as y'all can see. So I don't know if I'm gonna still be doing OTR. I think I'm in six months. I might be going local. We'll see, because at this point, maybe me and being over the road and not being home, it's not fun. I, I, I'm realizing I'm a homebody. I need to work me a nice little day job. Come the fuck back in the house. And, yeah, because even on the way here, because we had to take Greyhound here, I was just looking around. I'm looking at all these trucks, and I'm like, eh, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back. It's crazy, because when I be out the truck for a minute, I don't want to go back. But then when I get back on the truck, I don't want to fucking leave. Yeah, I don't want to get out the truck. It's crazy. It's like it's like a love and hate relationship I have with trucking. Like I love this shit, but goddamn, you motherfuckers get on my nerves. And it don't be. It really be the companies. It, it really be the companies. And not to mention, so far every except Schneider, I, I had another. I was in there with another female. She was cool as shit. I've been the only female in these orientations. And it's really fucking annoying. <laughs> like, okay, yeah, we out here. But I'm like, Tim, can I get another female somewhere else? Because so far coming up here, because this hotel is not, um, it's like the doors are outside. So, like, if I go out that door, it's like outside. It's not, I'm not still, I'm not in a building, if that makes sense. We walking up here, it ain't nothing but dudes. And these motherfuckers keep staring at me. And I, like, I get it. But, like, please stop staring me in my face. Because I be having half the mind to be like, the fuck are you looking at? But... I'm tr I don't do that no more. I used to. Cause yeah, I just be I just be like, okay, just like Cause it's like what the fuck? I ain't got nothing against men. But I'm like, damn, can I get another female tracker so we could talk so we could talk our shit like, together? Like, you know? Damn. But <laughs> oh, mm, before I end off, I'm some shit down. That's what I wrote. I wrote down right here. Damn. Honest, I'm over here getting sidetracked. One thing for certain, what y'all need to do when you get in the trucking, period. Always have money for a rainy day. Always, because you will never fucking know. Trucking is one of the things where you learn new things every day. Every day is going to be different. It ain't never going to be 
repeat. It's never going to be the same thing. Like, you learn something different every fucking day. Your truck just might stop working for no reason. Some companies will put you on some nice shit. Some will put you on some nasty shit. When my truck was in the shop with Warner, yo, that hotel, it wasn't bad, but if I was saving my money how I was supposed to, I'd have put myself in a hotel and just said, fuck it. But you also, ain't gonna lie, you also get deals. We get some deals too. Um, meaning, like, for example, with Best Western, they have another hotel that's called Sure Say that's under that. I have like rewards points with them for me staying in there so much. So it's like after you rack up a certain amount of points, you get some free. Do they be putting you in hotels like this? Well, not this one in particular, but like I have deals with Marriott, um, Hilton, all that other shit. Cause I be staying there a lot. So it gets you deals on hotels and shit. It do. Rental cars, I don't fucking know. Um, but I do know truck bars when it comes to stuff like these truck stops and stuff. I get you, for people that don't know, are just about to get into it, get you a pilot, a pilot card, a loves card. TA is fucking trash. I had one. Yo, these motherfuckers want a thousand points just to get a free shower. And I was like, every TA I've been to has been disgusting. For pilot, they only want like 300 points and you can get a free shower. Yeah, and that's just after you fuel one time. Like, let's just say, you pull, you done, you done for the day, right? If you need fuel, get fuel first, and then go park, and boom, free shower for you. If they like free showers, drinks, and all that other, like you get free drinks and shit, and they be having like deals on the app and all that other shit. So, yeah, that's how you can save money on showers because these showers be like fifteen, between like fifteen and twenty dollars depending on where you at. So far, I haven't had to pay. I only have to come out of pocket one time for a shower. But TA shit, they want a thousand points for one shower. I was like, and at one time, it was a point I was like, Warner kept sitting with the TAs. I was like, no, nah, I was going to Lowe's. Like, it's the Warner, the, like on the Warner app that they have to get hired with them. It's a list of fuel stops. I was picking only pilots, flying J's, and um, Lowe's. If it wasn't them, I was not stopping because. All together, I have like 400 something points with TA and nothing else. I was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh yeah, hell no. Hell no. And then TA's got reserved parking. Bitch, do I look like I'm about to pay for parking? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? I feel like this This is off topic at this point. Um, But I could put this out. This is off topic real quick. Why the fuck? Why the fuck are y'all charging trucks to pay for reserved parking, bitch? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I remember I had somebody wake me up and was like, I was at a TA. I didn't realize we really had to pay for parking because I parked in reserved spots before and nobody told me to move. They was like, you got to go. I was like, what? I was like, all right, babe. And I don't fuck with TAs because I'm not fucking paying for parking. That just don't sit right with me. Like, are you dumb? And they be rent All this money y'all be getting from people paying for parking and I ain't putting I don't I clearly don't put the shit back into your your um thing. Now it might be some nice TAs out there. But I don't know of one. I don't. Everyone I've been to raggedy as shit, dirty as shit. Yeah. Just yeah. No, no man. But yeah, what time is it's almost midnight. Yep, it's almost midnight. So I'm about to take my <laughs> I'm about to take my black ass to bed. <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep and I will talk to y'all and I will see y'all in the next video. So I hope y'all like this one. So bye.